Ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving away this phase to Stiletto Doppler Factory New Knife at 5,000 subscribers. To get entered into this giveaway, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, comment down below, make sure that you have your Steam ID in the bio of your channel, and make sure that you are a subscriber to the channel, and I will be announcing the winner at 5,000 subscribers. Now let's get back to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel for yet another video. We are still going on the daily grind. Thank you guys so much for all the support. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the best knife investments that you can make before CS2 does come out, hopefully within the next week. So before we get into that, I'd just like to give a big shout out to the channel sponsor, which is GamerPay. This video is sponsored by GamerPay, the best CS2 marketplace. GamerPay has the best prices and the best fees out there out of any CS2 marketplace. It has a 0% buying fee and also a 0% selling fee. So this means that you can use GamerPay completely for free and sell your skins and buy new ones there without losing any fees like other marketplaces and Steam. It is my favorite marketplace and I've used it the most by far out of any other marketplace as you can see up here. Check out GamerPay in the description of this video and get an extra 5 euro off when you deposit over 50 euro using my code down below in the description. If you are serious about investing in CS2, GamerPay is the best place to go. Thanks to GamerPay for sponsoring the channel and let's get back to the video. Okay guys, now let's talk about some knife investments. So the knife that I'm giving away is actually a pretty good investment. This is the Stiletto Doppler. This is a phase 2. And I think Doppler knives in general with how they look in CS2 are good long-term investments. Of course, you want to go for Dopplers that are not no longer actively dropping. And I think the Stiletto is a great example of this. Because if we have a little look at the Stiletto knife over here. And we have a little look at the case that you can get it in. We'll just look for the Doppler. Here it is. So we can get this in the Prisma and the Prisma 2 cases. And as I've showed a lot on the channel, where is it? I have a lot of Prisma and Prisma 2 cases. I believe in this case long term, it's the cheapest non-active dropping case at the moment. And you can get very, very nice Doppler knives like the one I just showed you or the Talon. So I do think this case has a great f uh, future in front of it. And once that case does go up in value, then I think the knives inside the case will go up in value as well. So stiletto knives, I think, are a great example. It's not only Dopplers. I also believe uh, fades, marble fades, um, slaughters, tiger toots. I, I think all of these would be great examples of knives that could go up in value over the long term. So now let's go into the next knife that I think has a lot of potential moving forward and this is a knife that i also previously gave away this is the bayonet doppler so i really like the bayonet i like the puller animations and i also like how it is one of the og knives you get it in the same cases as the karambit as the m9 bayonet and as uh, the butterfly knives as well so it's found in this knife in particular is found in the chroma cases and i do think the chroma cases will go up in value over time as well best finishes for the knives doppler of course fades of course um i think slaughters are good tiger dudes i think crimson webs are actually pretty nice if you look at it in minimal wear it's it does look a little bit rough around the edges but i do think in minimal wear it still looks quite nice as well okay now other knives this is similar to the bayonet, it's in the same cases, but this right here is the flip knife. So let's have a little look at a flip knife Doppler. I really like the flip knife, I like the pull out animations and I like the cases that it is in. This one found in the exact same cases, the Chroma, the Chroma 2 and the Chroma 3. It has other insane knives such as the Karamba and, M9, and M9 bayonet. So people will be opening these cases to try get them. And as such, we'll see a rise in price in the case and also a rise in price in some of these knives as well. So I think the flip knife is a good example of this, in my opinion. And just as a little example here, we can see that the cheapest one that you can actually get 
is $20 cheaper than both, which is found on GamerPay. And usually on GamerPay, you find good discounts on knives. That's where I get all my knives from. And all the knives I give away as well, I usually buy on GamerPay. So if you are picking up any knives, make sure to use the link down below just to save yourself a bit of cash when you do so. Okay, now the next knife, let's uh, let's do something a little bit cheaper because all these knives so far have been quite expensive. Let's go with one of my favorite knives in the game, and this is the Huntsman knife. I really like the Huntsman -like knife. I love the pull-out animation. Same one as the gut knife, but the gut knife doesn't look half as good as this. It's like it's like a kind of a bootleg M9 bayonet with a different handle <laughs> to it really, and it spins as well. I, I love this knife. It's so cheap as well. If we look over here, once again, the cheapest is gamer pay, but you can get it for $320 around that, which is very, very cheap for a knife. It's not cheap in general. I know knives have gone so expensive, but um, I do think this knife right here is a bit undervalued. Now let's have a little look at another knife that I think is a bit undervalued and has now been buffed by quite, quite a bit. And this is uh, the phase two, uh, phase two Doppler shadow daggers. So let's have a little inspect here. I mean, look at these, look at the handle. They're like, they're like rubies. They're completely red. They're completely pinkish, reddish. The blades look super nice. It, it, it's an amazing knife. And if we just bring it over on buff, let me tap it bigger. It's gone up in value once Valve did change it, but it's still quite low at about $330. And for a knife that looks this good in game, I think it's definitely worth it 100%. Now, Valve could change this, so keep that in mind. But if they don't change this, I think this will have a great future moving forward as it looks absolutely insane. And another reason why the Shadow Daggers are not very common and people already like Shadow Daggers is in CSGO, if you had them and you pulled them out, it actually made your crosshair move. It was a bug that was in the game for the longest of times. So people weren't using these because it gave you a, a competitive disadvantage. But now that they have been changed and they no longer affect your crosshair and they don't give you a competitive disadvantage, I think they're one of um, the most underrated knives in the game. But anyway, guys, that is my pick for knife investments let me know in the comments down below if you were to invest in a knife what knife would you pick up and why thanks again for all the support on the channel recently you guys are absolutely amazing and i'll see you in the next one peace out